How many of them, uh, were, were there other YSL members that showed up at that show? Yes. How many of you all would you say showed up at that show? So. <clears throat> I'm not being no responsible, but this particular day was my birthday. Mm -hmm. So everyone was like trying to go out and have a good time and help me celebrate. Okay. And so did you all go to the beginning of the show? No. So did you all show up after the show was over? No, we, we actually made it, like, while the club, it, it wasn't really a, a show. It, yeah, it wasn't a show, it was him being there. Okay. And so was Jimmy Winfrey with you all? Yes. And so um, you all came together, like, all as one? Yes. All right. And so why did you all bring guns to Little Wayne's show at the compound in 2015 if he was you all's idol? I didn't have a gun. I don't know anything about a gun. I was, I don't know nothing about that whole situation. I was there to enjoy myself, have a good time. It was my birthday. What whole situation? The, the situation with the one. And what was the situation that you're referring to? So his, uh, his tour bus was allegedly shot up. Well, not allegedly, it was shot up. Okay. All right. All right. And so you didn't have anything to do with that situation. Why did you distinguish yourself from everybody else? You said, I didn't have anything to do with that situation. Yeah. yeah. My intention on going out the night was having a good time. We were just club hopping, smoking weed, and drinking liquor, and celebrating. But you, were you aware that? Multiple members of the people that you came to the compound with were carrying guns? I didn't see anyone with no gun. I drove my own car. Okay. There were no guns in my car. Okay. Now, do you remember what time you all got to the compound? No. And did you ever even go inside the compound? Yes. How long did you stay inside? Um... <clears throat> Probably, I don't know. You know that was three years back too, though. It wasn't too long. Was it probably half an hour. Probably more like a half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Was that at the end or at the middle or at the beginning of his present state? <clears throat> so when the artist that big, you really don't get a chance to see him. It's about being in the same facility as a sensitivity, if that's the word I'm looking for. By being in the same facility as like a person that be a caliber. So who all went into the compound while you were inside the compound that were a part of this group with YSL that you came in? So I actually left everyone outside, they was charging roughly $500 to get in because of the time and that you had to have tickets and everyone was acting like they didn't have, well not acting like, they probably didn't have no money. But I had money and I wanted to enjoy myself and that's what I did. I took it upon myself to, I drove my own car so I took it upon myself to go in and, and, and see my idol. You said, okay, your idol. Um, now, was your co-founder of YSL having any words across the media or any other way with your idol during the time that Lil Wayne had his show or appeared at the compound? That... I don't know, I just feel like that caliber of person, you won't even get the chance to have words with him like that. Especially not a young, up-and-coming artist who technically ain't even made a name for himself yet. Who was the young, up-and-coming artist who had technically not made a name for himself yet? Jeffrey Williams. Okay. Jeffrey Williams. Okay. Now, 
Was Jeffrey Williams with you all at the compound? No. What was Jeffrey Williams? Um, um, why don't you rephrase the question? I'll stay in. Yes, you know. Are you aware of where Jeffrey Williams was the night that Little Wayne appeared at the compound in 2015 when you all, as YSL, went to the compound? From my understanding, Your Honor, the witness has testified. Oh, I'm objecting at this point. Hey, 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 Mrs. T hey, Mr. Harvey, we're not going to have any of that. Let's sustain your objection, okay? We're not going to be belligerent to one another. You can rephrase. Yes, sir. When Wyatt was at the compound, are you aware of where Jeffrey Williams was? Um, yes. Where was Jeffrey Williams? He was on tour. Where was he appearing the night that YSL was at the compound for the Wayne Foundation? I'm gonna rule that. You may answer. You can answer the question, sir. <laughs> um, from my understanding, he was in New Orleans. Well, sir, do you know where he was? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then yes. you can't speculate. Oh. Okay, uh, so yes, if you know where he is, fine. If you don't know where he is, then tell tell the examiner that, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Yes. What part of New Orleans? I don't know. Do you, are you aware of whether or not he was in Little Wayne's hometown? No. Do you... have any reason why you all... why Sale wasn't in New Orleans with Jeffrey Williams? At the time, Jeffrey Williams, co-founder of YSL, was performing. Basis. Oh, rule, sir. You may answer the question. So again, um, this round of time where he was up and coming, and it really didn't make any sense for him to buy all those plane tickets when he probably was making only $5,000 a show at the time. So it won't be no profit in paying for all our flight tickets. That's what I feel like, that's how I feel. Okay, well, why did you- I move to strike his answer, it's all speculative. Based on the last statement. Yeah, yeah, I would object to strike. I'll objection. Now, why didn't YSL just pay for their own flights if it was to support a founding member of the group? Let's do a question. Should you see YSL? I'm saying it's a forum, but you know, that's already come out, Mr. <coughs> uh, Matthew, so I'm going to rule your, your, your first objection, okay? So rephrase this to why, okay? So unless he knows, then that 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 invites speculation. Okay. You specifically, why didn't you just pay for your own ticket to go and support your co-founder while your co-founder was performing in New Orleans? So at the time, uh, I had a case pending, and I was on ankle monitor, house arrest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did he have a curfew at the time? No, it was more of knowing my whereabouts at all times. Were you able to let your probation officer know or parole officer know if you needed to go somewhere other than where you were or near the I, I wasn't on board. Mr. Steele? You, you can. Okay. <clears throat> 